Okay, so I've got a delivery from Pie Hut. So uh, first thing as always, whenever I buy anything from Pie Hut, is to get a Pi Pico. This is the uh, Wi-Fi with headers. Cute little box. I've not seen uh, this box before. But yeah, there it is, a little pie. But anyway, what I wanted to order was this that you see on the screen here. This is an ESP32S3 development board. I just got the email about this a couple of days ago. And it looked interesting. I mean, look at that. You've got 8x8 matrix and it's RGB. That's a lot of LEDs for £8.50. Plus it's got the ESP32 and the S3 on it and a USB-C. Looking at that scale, I'm not expecting it to be too big. Haha, <laughs> and I'm right. All right, so it's a teeny bit. better right so it's a teeny little matrix and it's got some extra things in it as well so that fuse there um it's got the esp so i hope it does wi-fi and it's got this little chip here which is um accelerometer or something like that i think let's just have a look on here yeah it's got wi-fi and bluetooth never used bluetooth on one of those um but yeah it's got a qmi 8658 altitude sensor on it so you could send this up to the heavens and put a display on it as to how high it was. But uh, you can only display one number at a time on an 8x8 matrix. So what happens when I plug it in? Has it got any onboard software? Let's have a look. I do like it when uh, you get things like this. Never quite sure what the software is going to be like. Let's just plug it in, connect it to the computer and see what happens. No light up on the back. Nothing's getting hot. Oh, that's disappointing. Um, it's got a couple of buttons on. Um, it's got a reset and a boot reset. Nothing. Boot. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. So that's white. I think quite low um, power on it. Not very bright. I'm zooming on that a little bit. If I can zoom in a little bit more. Can you see that? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, there is a... Oh, wow, there is a demo on it. Just took a while to start up. Ha! I'm glad there's a demo on it. You can sort of see the uh, accelerometers working as well, so that's testing both the things. Not super bright, but that's very acceptable. It's uh, a WaveShare board, and I do like WaveShare stuff generally. It's got a wiki for it here on uh, WaveShare. So ESP32 S3 matrix. Well, it tells you about the info, which is good, and the pinouts. It's got these pinouts down both sides, which you connect whatever other hardware you want to it. It's quite responsive, this is. It's fun just having it for that, but is it worth £8 to have a, a lighted marble on a very small stamp? <laughs> um, it's talking about Visual Studio Code. Oh, don't really want to. I've got that on this machine, but I don't really want to mess with that. Oh no, look, there's the Arduino thing here. That's better. All right, so yeah, we can. looks like we can program it with normal Arduino. Tell you what, while we're here, I'm going to see if we can put WLED on this. If I go to Chrome, install WLED.me, as I've been to before on this channel. Let's hit install. All right, it's come up with USB modem JTAG serial debug. I assume that's that. Let's select that and do connect. Let's try and install WLED on it. It's going to wipe what's on here, but um, I just want to see what WLED's like. Maybe we can do so because it's a matrix. I've never really played with WLED on the matrix. So install that. Do you want to install it? Install. All right. OK, so it doesn't like that. It is a ESP32S3, but um, I wonder if I have to do boot install WLED. No. Um, let me. Oh, that's done something. All right, that's made it pop up again. Maybe I've got it ready. I'll just push either of the two buttons to see what happened. No, it's not liking that, is it? So I've got to work out to do this another way. I'll just power it off and on again. Then I pushed the boot button, didn't I? Then I waited a little bit. I wonder if it does like a startup sequence. There we go. Yeah, now it's uh, 
wonder whether it calibrates it or something. This is the WaveShare ESP32S3 development board with an 8x8 RGB matrix on it and accelerometer. Just a little introduction to have a look at it. Hope you enjoyed this. Maybe we'll come up with some ideas on how we can use this in a later video. So if you'd like to see that, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. Otherwise, bye. Oh.